Hello everybody and welcome back to Train Brothers Railway. Today is not a running video, but it is a maintenance video. And this is kind of going to be a spring maintenance tip um, video for the Garden Railway and getting it, waking it back up from winter. We did run in the winter, but not very often because we did have a lot of snow. But we started putting out some of the buildings just to kind of get the creativity going again. But we put some of the buildings out around here. And we're just kind of doing the spring maintenance where we're trying to neaten everything up because, you know, as creatures come in and out through winter, you can see they like to disturb all the mulch and uh, throw it all over the ballast. But that's not a crazy big deal because I'll show you a little bit later. We have like a little hand broom and usually it takes care of it pretty easily. But we'll have to bury all these wires here, which are the lights for all of our buildings straighten up all of our rock, straighten up the track because it does get a little unlevel as the year progresses. And then it'll be like a lot of cutting back all the dead shrubbery that we didn't get to in the fall. I usually carry a five gallon pail around with me just to put all the leaves in and to collect everything because in here especially, I'll pull back a little bit, you can see it would just kind of collect all in here. We'll have to trim back some of this guy because it got ahead of us this year. But you can kind of see this wet spot. This was just all those leaves in that five gallon pail. And then also too, we'll have to put some more ballast in here because birds love coming in here and stealing it for some reason. I guess it helps them chew their food, but this is, we'll need to add some ballast here. Then we'll go over to the other side and I'll show you what I mean with all the leaves. All right, here's the broom I was talking about. This one we got from Home Depot. And it's just a stiff bristled broom and it's nice to be able to just kind of sweep the ballast up. And then this is all the leaves that usually kind of collect around that we'll have to sweep up. So it works well for cleaning that up and leveling off the ballast again. And if you go back, I'll probably leave a card right here. Um, in our track day video, this is the broom that I use to level out all the ballast and just to make it all look nice and even. But this is kind of the stuff that winter kind of collects and it's not too hard just to clean up and then it makes your, your layout look a lot nicer and you know gives it a fresh look along with picking out all the other foreign debris around. One other thing we do that's kind of not 100% related to the layout but we clean up all the edging because all the mulch tends to fall in like the little gutter we have here. <laughs> Especially once all the wind comes and blows it all in here and then there's our dreaded project for this year and that's this back line we've been trying to get it going for i think it's going on a year and a little bit now but this year is the year we're going to try and get it up and going and i'd like to put in a siding here with some type of industry because there's lots of real estate there behind our electrical building but and hopefully this year our birch trees will hopefully take off i don't know if you, yeah there's the bud right there they're starting to bud out now which is nice so maybe they'll get a good head start and that's kind of what we're doing now i think today is april 10th and we're just getting a good head start on before everything starts greening up we're just going to try and clean it up and get rid of all the leaves and debris because out here things blow around a lot so we're going to get back to work and uh, we'll check back up with you guys later all right well it's the end of the day now and we've cleaned up everything we kind of did a 10 second tidy of the layout we added some ballast there hopefully when it rains that should all just color match it's just because it's dusty and then over here we clean this up and then i reballast in the tunnel here that's all reballast now and then when you're going through the leaves be careful because sometimes you might lose some pieces and not even know it this is a handrail i'm pretty sure off of our switcher so we'll have to go take a look at that and see where that ended up but if, you stand, if I stand back here, we trim the trees up a little bit to keep that nice and neat. And then the pond, we got that all cleaned up a few days earlier, but that's looking pretty good. So now we just move on. We've reburied all the wires in there. And then I was curious about these switch motors because I want to get these up and running this year. And the other one worked, but this one didn't because it got too corroded. And if you've ever seen inside of one of these, it's all sticking together because it's a magnet. But this little guy is sits in here, and this just got too corroded inside, so it doesn't have good conductivity. But you hook up your, I hooked up 9 volts DC, and it threw the switch just fine on the other one. 
and so I'll have to take some sandpaper and clean this up and then this guy will go back in and this gear is what turns in here and then the piece is somewhere it's right here it turns these gears here and this slides back and forth which throws the switch each way so for now I'll just put this cover back on screw the screws in and I'll bring this inside and clean it up but I'll go over and show you the uh, other side so I dug up this wire here because I had just buried it and I tested it. I found this wire here because this wire runs right back to our little electrical shack. So I put power to it and then if you touch the wires, I don't know if I can get this one handed or if it's still even plugged in, it should throw the switch. And if I can touch them. Nope, there's no power to it. So, but this will work. Switch it, so then I'll have a switch maybe here with a building. Then I'll be able to switch this one and the one at the far end. But everything's kind of cleaned up. You can see the ballast line is more delineated now. The mulch isn't kind of falling into it. Now we still have to go through and kind of level it because if we do run a train on it, sometimes you can hear some scraping. This is power for one of the buildings, the little station that sits here. And this is the other side of the tunnel, all nicely cleaned out. And then one other thing too we did was over here, we cleaned up the edge and re-edged the side of the garden. If we remulch this year, all this will get covered so you won't see it. But again, cleaned up the ballast. Just made everything look a little nicer and a little fresher for when we start running trains here. And I think it'll be uh, a good season running trains. So until next time, take care, take it easy, and uh, keep an eye on this supervisor. He's a shifty little guy.